Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mormonism with the Murph, where we do a fair and objective analysis of the church and its truth claims, its history, doctrine and policy. So recently there's been a video on TikTok that's kind of gone viral, that apparently archaeologists have discovered horse bones in Mexico dating to Book of Mormon times. It was always believed that horses were an anachronism in the Book of Mormon, calling into question its historicity. Is this finding credible, conclusive evidence? Does this eliminate a supposed anachronism and is this strengthening the case for a historical Book of Mormon? Let's have a look and talk about the evidence. The Book of Mormon speaks of horses existing in the Americas during Book of Mormon times between 2200 BC to 400 AD amongst the Jaredites and the Nephites and Lamanites. However, scientists claim that horses went extinct around 10,000 BC during the Ice Age long before Book of Mormon times and that they were not intro introduced until Columbus discovered the Americas. Critics have pointed to the Book of Mormon talking of horses in the America as a blatant anachronism, showing that the Book of Mormon is not a real historical record, but a 19th century pr production. Book of Mormon talks about horses in America. 84. What? 85. There were no horses in America before Columbus. It's pretty much a documented fact. However, some have argued that when Smith translated the Book of Mormon, the word horse may be referring to a horse-like creature, such as a deer or tapir, as a translator must put the text into modern English that readers would understand. However, some don't find this a reasonable apologetic, and some may even think it is a ridiculous stretch. <laughs> a recent study published in the Texas Journal of Science by Miller and colleagues, they claim to have found pre-Columbus horse bones, which were the Pleistocene species of horse native to North America during their excavation in Mexico. They determined by carbon dating of each stratus layer and the carbon dating of the charcoal and other organic materials around the horse bones that they date to Book of Mormon time periods. They argue that these horse bones are of the prehistoric horse that belonged to the Americas prior to Spanish horses being introduced and that the horses may not all have gone extinct as early as most scientists believed, supporting the Book of Mormon's talk of horses among the Jaredites and the Nephites. A recent TikTok post talks about these findings by the archaeologists, constituting strong evidence for horses being in the Americas during Book of Mormon times. This has certainly created a stir both in the Mormon and ex-Mormon community. One scientist and geneticist, Simon Southerton, who is a former member and bishop of the church, weighed in his personal thoughts as a scientist on social media. He said that there is a tendency for Book of Mormon apologists to want to grasp at any evidence to support the historicity of the Book of Mormon, but the scientific consensus is that horses went extinct at the end of the Ice Age 13,000 years ago. He also noted that there is a conflict of interest in that the leading author is a former Mormon apologist and that it wasn't published in a well-known or highly respected archaeological journal, calling into question just how reliable are these findings. One commenter, who is a believing Latter-day Saints, responded that Simon argues apologists have a conflict of interest and are not objective, but he argued in return that Simon, as a non-believing scientist, who has been excommunicated from the church, would have as many stakes in the matter to discredit any evidence supporting horses in the Americas during Book of Mormon times, implying that both parties are victim to, as psychology puts it, confirmation bias. Simon says the results may not be completely reliable, as the radiocarbon dates do not come from the collagen in the bones of the skeleton, but from the charcoal, the wood, and other surrounding organic materials, which could possibly have been mixed in with it, and now the bones could either be contaminated, implying that if the bones were to be tested and have the same carbon dates as the surrounding materials, it is because of contamination of the surrounding materials and the results are not reliable. One might say this could be a convenient way to explain away or dismiss the evidence if the bones were to match those dates. He acknowledges that the author of the article states that their charcoal study, that the charcoal was adjacent from the skeleton and that it doesn't necessarily prove or create a precise date for the vertebrate specimen. The best dating is from the radiocarbon of the collagen in the bones. Another commenter said that it makes no difference to the Book of Mormon historicity if they find horse bones or not. It still doesn't prove there were Nephites that Jesus visited the Americas, or does it solve all the problems with church leaders? Certainly this finding will not convince anybody of the Book of Mormon historicity or the church's truth claims necessarily, even if the findings are proven valid. 
However, critics have long pointed to anachronisms in the Book of Mormon as proof of its falseness, such as no horses existing in the Americas. While we should be cautious and not get carried away or jump the gun too soon, that this constitutes conclusive evidences for horses in the Americas, we should also be patient and maybe not jump to any rash conclusions. In my view, one should be careful to conclusively say there is absolutely no archaeological evidence to support the Book of Mormon's historical claims. When less than 1% of all archaeological sites have been excavated, and with recent LiDAR technology, discovering hidden cities, roads and civilizations possibly existing under the jungles of Guatemala. Perhaps less certainty should be had when making those absolute claims about the Book of Mormon's historicity, as further research and archaeological discovery is still to be conducted. Apologists have also noted that there has been less anachronisms found in the Book of Mormon over the passage of time, indicating that what was once considered an anachronism could later be discovered to fit in with the Book of Mormon's timeline and geography. The famous quote says, the absence of evidence is not necessarily evidence of absence. Book Mormon Central, though, states that these findings, although they are interesting and perhaps promising, caution should be had and further testing conducted to authenticate these findings. Members and believers shouldn't get carried away until further tests are done. Even if these bones are found to match the carbon dating of the surrounding material, while one may interpret this as strengthening the case of the Book of Mormon and eliminating a previously thought anachronism, it still does not prove the Book of Mormon's historicity and does not remove the necessity of faith. I think this quote from Elder Maxwell is important for Latter-day Saints when it comes to archaeological evidence for the Book of Mormon. Elder Maxwell said, It's the author's opinion that all the scriptures, including the Book of Mormon, will remain in the realm of faith. Science will not be able to prove or disprove holy writ. However, enough plausible evidence will come forth to prevent scoffers from having a field day, but not enough to remove the requirement of faith. Believers must be patient during such unfolding. In conclusion, I think we should be cautious to come to any fast assumptions that this research 100% proves horses lived in the Americas during Book of Mormon times. It is an interesting finding, but it requires additional testing to authenticate its findings as definitive. We should remain open to the evidence and strive to eliminate our bias as the scientific and archaeological discoveries occur in the future. However, if this finding be true, it may help one's faith in the Book of Mormon seem less irrational or indefensible. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll put some videos at the end of the video as well where you can check out and check out the articles as well and the published study. And let's just patiently wait until we know more, until the evidence is more conclusive and definitive. But I've tried to share uh, all we know so far. And thanks so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. If you care to donate, you can to my PayPal or via Patreon. The links are below. You can also follow me on Spotify and watch my podcast there on Anchor. Uh, follow me on Instagram or Twitter or on my Facebook page, Mormonism with the Murph. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new content. I've got more content coming your way. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.